What's up guys, the Keyblade Soul Lord here, and welcome back to Pokemon Sword. Today we're doing some shiny hunting again. Last time we couldn't do uh, so well because not many people... <laughs> I couldn't get any shinies the last time I got here, so maybe, hopefully, today we'll be able to get a, at least a shiny, and hopefully today it's Faramosa. So, I hope that you all had a good time today, so... Um, sorry, I was just making sure. Okay, let me start it again. What's up, guys? The Keyblade Sword here, and welcome back to Pokemon Sword Shiny Hunting. So, today, like last time, we're gonna hunt for Shiny Feromosa. Uh, last time we didn't do so well because, well, currently I feel kind of <laughs> boring for some reason. But today will be different. So I hope that today we'll be able to get Shiny Feromosa, and hopefully we can also have some fun today. Right now I'm going to do a uh, one raid with random people and let's see if we get lucky with anybody. So let's start the first raid of the day and go to raid number 17 of Shiny Hunting Feromosa, shall we? I'm going to put an extra number here. Alright, so far I'm, I'm going to do one without codes and, see, and join some random people, but as soon as we get enough people to join in, We'll see if we can uh, finally get Shiny Faramosa today. Or maybe any other Shiny, who knows? We'll see. We may never know until we find out. Wait, hold on, did I forget to turn on the internet? I think I forgot to turn on the internet. Yeah, I forgot to turn on the internet. I'm so, I'm so dumb sometimes. Now let me just adjust the screen here. There we go. Alright, setup is complete. Alright. Now we're online, now we should be able to do this. Oh, wait, wrong, wrong mine. Wrong mine. It's Feromosa, not Cresselia. <laughs> Last time I forgot the mic, and this time it's the internet, you're right. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do one with randoms for now, but... Hopefully soon we'll be able to get more people to join me. Alright. Let's see if we actually join, see someone who's also hunting for Faramosa. And there we go. We have some, one person. One for Japan. We have Kia. And we only need one more who's also hunting for Faramosa. There we go. We have a full team. Well, let's have this to Kia to join. Alright, let's do this. The best, the best po possible Pokemon that we could do against her would be against that Pokemon. Hmm. It's this is hard. Man, it could be Malamar, but Malamar is super effective. But I guess I'll have to take it. We need to pick better mods because Pheromos is a fighting bug type, so best of, the best mods we could do is fire. Fly, especially flying. Okay, so at least someone gets the idea. Alright. Let's do this. We have a full team. Let's see if we have a... Okay, I see a flying type on the path. Okay, so maybe after Taurus first. Then go after the flying type, which it's hard to tell who it is. It looks like a Scyther. I think it is a Scyther. There's another flying type on the other side, which is Talonflame. I think it's best to go for normal first. There we go. People agree with me? Let's get this started. <laughs> I bet Gonta would make bug types in Pokemon. He sure would. I wonder if someone actually made a video of Pokemon... Uh, of Danganronpa characters in their Pokemon mains. Okay, so we're up against Taurus first. I think Taurus is a tough customer, but I think we can defeat him if we work together. Let's see, what do we have here? And that's slash Topsy. What's the Topsy Turvy? What's that change is if I get Target's turn, Topsy Turvy, and it can be the opposite of what they were. Okay. I don't know if I should Dynamax here, but I'm going to take that risk and see. Let's see what we have. 
weapons. I get to rain, special defense, most of the... I think I'm going for max darkness here and see and lower its special defense to see if everybody else can do more damage. By the way, guys, if you... By the way, guys, um... I... My... My... Most of the guys who see me then, uh... I need you guys to follow me so I can become a... An affiliate on Twitch. So if we reach 50 followers, that would be I, that would really help my Twitch channel. So I hope you guys can help me out with that. Starting with max strike, take pretty heavy damage, but oh, I have contrary. This I almost forgot that that I have that. So it's a sign on me. That's good. All right. You lowered its special defense. He's using slash. Muddy water. That's a special attack. Should lower its accuracy. And then fire lash, which I think also lowers its defense. Okay, we had a good start. I'm gonna keep using max darkness for now. See if we get lucky. As well as. Oh, he's using close combat, but, I, but he missed. That's good. Okay, we are, we are starting pretty strong so far. Taurus? I don't know if Taurus has any good moves against uh, Feromosa, but we'll see. How the heck do you miss his Zen headbutt? Alright. Uh... Yeah, I've got to do Max Darkness once again. Because we definitely need to reach the Flying Types. Okay, so Heatmore isn't doing anything. Come on, make your move, Heatmore. There it is. Uh-oh, he's resetting all the stats. And he's using Max Strike. Whoa, what is this beef with what is its beef with wish cash? Well, I just don't my speed also. Oh, it's because it nullified its our ability. We wasted a one life, but we can still do this. Alright. Good start! I don't remember what Shiny Tauros looks like, but I think I'm going to catch it in the Nest Ball for now. Alright. Good start, good start. On to the next one. Okay, so is anybody gonna take the Tauros? High horsepower, close combat, assurance. I'm, I think I'm good for now. And apparently everyone agrees. Alright. We need to get to the flying type. That's gonna be very helpful. There we go. Glad people agree with me. Alright, so, the scientist is going to make a, ch a, a change. Should I take it? Let's see if anybody else is going to do that. Really not. I'm going to keep Malamar for now. Sure, Mal sure, I get Scyther. Scyther is a bug type, so... Malamar will be in big trouble with this, but... I think I, I'll be able to manage it. If I'm lucky, I might not be able to get hit. Plus, I have an electric type move, so there you go. Alright, it is Scyther. Come to think of it, I don't remember ever meeting Scyther in Dynamax Adventures. This is actually my first time. Alright. Axel's pressure is in effect. Okay, I'm gonna go with Thunderbolt. I don't know if Wishcatch will Dynamax, but we'll see. Yep, he's got a Dynamax. <clears throat> yeah. 
do like I do like another thing I do like about this game is that <laughs> I just love how people customize their character, their their trainers looks. So seeing so many diverse looks is kind of refreshing. It's using wing attack, which doesn't do much. Wish I could have done more than that, but that's okay. If it has wing attack, then one of us should take it. Nice! The contrary is gonna slow me down. Yep. Ooh, that's a big risk going with overheat. If I had contra if Heatmore would have contrary, that would have been a an amazing move. Okay, I'm probably gonna move slower than everyone else, so I'm probably gonna attack last last. Let's see how this goes. There we go. That went that one went smoothly. Okay, I remember Scissor being green. Uh, no, I'm gonna catch it in a dust ball. I had to. I do have Shiny Scissor. I just don't remember having Shiny Shiny Scyther. All right, two down, two to go. Okay, let's see if anybody's gonna take the Scyther. Okay, Heathmore's not gonna take it. Is Kia gonna take it? 10 seconds to go. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Wishcash take it. As long as I get as long as one of us gets Talent Flame. Alright. Now go for Talent Flame. That's our next target. Talent Flame is a fl flying fire type. And it's going to be super effective against uh, Feromosa. The only problem is Feromosa's beast boots beast boost when it uh, tackles us. But other than that, its defenses are very weak. I do like Talonflex's design; it's amazing. Might as well might as well tell a bit of story about it, my, my Pokemon adventures. Uh, out of all the Pokemon games, I played like. Um, the first gen gen one gen two gen three and gen four and gen five, but I never managed to play gen gen six or gen seven, aka uh, Kalos and Alola. So I missed out on a lot, as you can tell. But yeah, I really did. I really did hurt that Kalos might have been the worst of the generations, but I don't know. But despite despite that, there are some amazing Pokemon. I did enjoy liking. To, most of the mons, except including uh, Halucha, Greninja, um, the Fennekin line, among others, and Alola did have some interesting Pokemon as well. I, I do, I do like most of the Pokemon's designs from from each from each gen. And I, and I will admit, I was fe I was feeling bad that I never got to experience Talonflame because Talonflame is amazing. So I'm glad they actually brought him back in one of the expansion passes. Which is the Isle of Armor, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, despite that, we we have to be careful with Cypher, because Cypher is about to die. <laughs> why is why are you doing Sunny Day? Why are you risking Sunny Day on us? Oh my God, I don't know what what humor was thinking, but using Sunny Day is not a good move. Yeah, why would you use Sunny Day? I'm glad it didn't, it didn't hit anybody, anybody else, but on Scyther? Okay, we still have two lives. We might be able to take it down in this one. Yep, we did. That's good. Alright, time to catch that Talent Flame. And, and I'm probably going to take it. I'm going to catch Talon Flame and um, I'm going to catch it in Luxury. Now, Sha if I recall, Shiny Talon Flame has like orange uh, stripes instead of black. I don't, re I don't remember. 
Uh, let's see, what else do I remember? What was I saying? Oh, yes. Now, but before the Gala region, before I managed to stream a... Uh... One. Okay, just making sure that I have everything ready. No! We need it! Why would you... Tr oh, my God. I need it, Scythe... I can understand me or Kia eating it, but why would you trade away Scyther? It has a flying type move. Oh my god. If we win this, we'd be very lucky. You, they should have he should have let either me or Kia take the talent flame. Not not to change Cypher since it's already, since it already has a flying type move. But whatever. Let's hope everything goes well. I hope. I'm gonna use expanding force. Timur is gonna dynamax, so I understand. What? Why are you using why? What kind of move would he is he trying to use? I have a bad feeling about this if we don't succeed. What, I don't know what 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 the talent flame user is doing, but ah, tailwind. Okay, okay. If that's the case, then I make that makes sense. We we would move faster than Feromosa, but still, you could have just taken, you could have just ignored that and just start attacking it. Luckily, it used Swift, so we might be able to succeed this. Using Max Flare. Oh, there we go. We actually did better than we thought. All right. That was a bit, that was a good start. Despite a few bumps on the road, but still, uh, I'm always gonna catch luxury because I know Fe Shiny Feromosa has a black leggings. If that's what you call it. <laughs> All right. First attempt. Good start. Let's see if we succeed with this. Okay, shiny check in, let's see. No, 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 no. No shiny right now, but it's just a start. Come on, let me just uh, respond to my dad. Just responding to this really quickly. Just, just a sec.
Just give me a sec, guys. I'm, I'm just making this response really quick. It's kind of important. There. All right, I made the response. Sorry about that. All right. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Okay, okay. I pressed no instead of yes, but don't worry. I, I can recover this really quickly. The game is saved. Should be okay. I should still be able to get Ferramosa there. Let me see, am I right? Yep, yeah, it's still here. Okay, good. Uh, nothing new. Turning on online so I don't forget. Okay, just making sure. Alright. Alright. We didn't get we didn't get for almost in this one, but, let, but let's hope we get in, in that one, in the next one. Raid number 18. Let's do this. Okay, so another from Japan. Miu. And... Wait, as a Miui Ruma? <laughs> Only one left. We need to have a full team so we can do this a lot better. And there we go. Let's do this. Alright, so we have Septal with Unburden, a Dublade with No Guard, and a Frostlass with Snow Cloak. Between all three, I think I'll take the Frostlass. Ooh, this is not a good start, actually. Raquinid. Double eight. Maybe Kaparaja? I'm not sure. Okay. It's not a good start, but let's hope we can get better Pokémon on the way. Still normal. Uh, I don't see any flying types. Oh, wait, there's... That's talent. That, that's a flying type right there. If I go through this path, I think it's better to go face the steel type or the normal type. As long as we get the fire type on the other side, I think I'm going with steel or normal. There we go. We're going for Porygon first, gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, as I was saying, um, what was I saying? I, th I was telling about my story with Pokemon. Yes. Uh, so yeah, um, I may not, I may never owned the original Pokemon Red or Blue or Yellow, 
But I played on a, but, but my friend uh, lent it to me because he didn't play it anymore. Muse is still an inventor. She chooses to catch Pokemon in her free time. <laughs> okay, and is it... Yeah, like I said, I never... Uh, I, own, I never owned the game, but I played it and I enjoyed it. Then I played it on an emulator later on. This can only be used in a hate storm. Okay, I'm not gonna Dynamax here. I'm just gonna use. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna use Frost Breath first. But, but I played it. I had a lot of fun with it, especially Pokemon Yellow because you have Pikachu following you around and you get all the free starters. It was a it was a blast. And if I had to pick a favorite, except for Pikachu, because uh, Pikachu was uh, funny because I love interacting with him, I I would say my best teammates were Charizard, um, Lapras, and um, I think I think Scizor. It's been so long. I haven't played a Pokemon Yellow in a very long time. Then I played uh, the second gen, the second gen. Unfortunately, that was the only game that I couldn't finish until the end because I only had it for my friend. But it it was fun while it lasted. I, I ended up with Chikorita. I know I know technically Cyndaquil or Totodile is better, but I actually like Chikorita because of the anime. Anyway, next, if I recall, uh, I played the third gen. I actually managed to play it uh, on a net. It was an emulator, but it, but I still had a lot of fun. It wasn't it didn't count. Uh, my favorite, and I played Emerald, which is which was one of my favorite po Pokemon games. You saw me doing the the Nuz, the randomizer of Nuzlocke. I I could go back to finish it. I could, but we we never. But I didn't get the chance to do it, so we'll see. Maybe in the near future I might be able to do it. Let's see if Trickle the second do free hits. There we go. You just need one more hit, and we'll be able to do this. There we go. Okay, good start against the Porygon. I would catch, I would catch it in a Beast Ball, but I'm actually also breeding Porygons and Beast Balls, so I'm gonna catch it in a Great Ball just in case. Uh, but yeah, Pokemon Emerald was still one of my favorite uh, Pokemon games from my childhood. Especially since that the Hoenn Pokemon were so interesting, even though there was a lot of water. <laughs> yeah, the Hoenn region hit was had a lot of water involved. Okay, so is anybody gonna take the Porygon? I think I'm gonna st stick with Frostlass. No, no one's gonna take it. And again, none of its moves are gonna be very effective against Ceramosa. Okay, let's get Charmeleon. That's our next bet. Sure, we could also get Kadabra or Weezing. I don't know if they're also target Weezing, so I don't know. Wait, why? Why Kadabra? I mean, sure, we. I mean, sure, Faramos is part uh, is part fighting type, but still, it's also part Bug type. Bug type are super effective against Psychic types. Not that not that I can complain, but still. I would have gone after Charmeleon and not Kadabra. But that's just me. Anyway, then came Gen 4, and Pokemon, and that's where I met one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, which is Giratina, especially in Pokemon uh, Platinum, because Pokemon Platinum is, is one of my favorite games. In fact, it, it became one of my top favorite games of that generation because I, I enjoyed um, the story, the. The team is actually amazing. the The evil team was amazing, and I and a lot of favorites came. The and not all of my favorites are from Sinnoh, especially Giratina. Then I played the Unova region, and it's a, it's also among one of my favorite uh, regions. It uh, out of all the regions, aside from Galar, with had, except for Galar, which has some amazing Pokemon. The Unova region had left a big impression on me, especially the sequel, Black Black and White 2. I played Black 2, by the way. Yeah, I also played the original Black, but I prefer but Black 2 was became one of my favorite games of all time because it had a it, there was there was so much content on it, and the story was just in deep in, amazing. You you just it, there was a lot of things going on with the with the evil team, despite how much I hated I hate Getsis. And 
I I will admit gets this I will admit the story involving Kyurem and how the fused with either Reshiram or Zekrom was pretty scary. But other than that, I enjoyed the game a lot. Especially the the Pokem the Pokemon themselves. Then it, and then there's Kalos and Alola, which unfortunately I m never managed to play because I never owned the 3DS. But other than that, and but then I I, I got excited and get, to get back to Pokemon when the Galar Reacher was announced, and I was glad to play it. I got to, especially when I finally when I met my top favorite uh, starter of all time, Scorbunny. Yes, yeah, Scorbunny became my favorite starter of all time. Uh, if I recall. I'm gonna catch it in a heal ball. And so while while I never experienced the Kalos and Alola regions uh, myself in the games, I did experience the, the, the regions from from the anime, and I did enjoy the anime for the most part. I have to admit the Kalos the Kalos anime was amazing, especially involving Ash. Ash was. Ash was so cool in that in that region. Damn, you keep it. Is it someone gonna take the dazzling gleam cadabra? Yep, he's gonna take it. All right, but we we should definitely go for for the flying type. This flying type is very effective against the um, against Feromosa. There we go. At least they're reasonable with this one. All right. Uh, what else do I? As for the Alola, the Alola anime, I have to admit the the different art style and how Ash acted there compared to how he was in, Ka in Kalos was a little weird. To at start, at least. But then, but then to see Ash finally. Okay, uh, but then to spoiler alert, seeing Ash actually f winning the 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 a league for the first time in forever, that it was an a, amazing experience. Okay, so I think I'm going with Frost Breath. All right, everyone picked their moves. Kadabra is gonna Dynamax. Can't blame it. I think I. I I think he gets. I, f I think I can see what they're thinking. They, they want me to take the Unpheasant so I can then Dynamax and use the Max Airstream on Feromosa. Which Feromosa will take four times the damage because it's part Buck and Fighting type. Maybe I should have used Triple Excel instead of that, but whatever. Too late. I'm just like switching from time to time. Good use in breaking swipe, it, it, it'll lower the, its attack power. Should be able to take it down easy. It's using Feather Dance to slow me down. Uh, to lower my attack? Oh. I, I don't know what it, what its plan is, but it shouldn't lower my attack like that. Especially since I'm a special attacker. At least Feromosa is, uh, is considered one. Even though I had Triple Excel, which is more of a physical attack, but still. I'd rather do this than uh, any other move. Wow, how is it not down yet? Well, Max Max Storm will do the trick. I'd like to know what kind of Pokemon would Mew have on our team? That would that would be a, a fun fact to have. Let's see. I can picture Makoto having uh, something like a, an Eevee, like Makoto Nagi. I think he would have an Eevee for sure. Because his hairstyle kind of reminds me of a ruffled hair Eevee, don't you know? Don't you think? <laughs> Uh, what would, what would Kyoko have? That would that would be a good. Uh, what kind of Pokemon would Kyoko have? That would be a fun thing to. Maybe some maybe a Psychic type Pokemon or a, or maybe a Growlithe because he's a because she's like the ultimate detective. Okay, I'm gonna take the Pheasant because that's wing attacks. 
Mew, please let me have the Unpheasant, because it's it's better for me. Okay, good. I'll be able to Dynamax and use uh, Max Airstream on Feramosa. Kyoko would... Kyoko could have a Growlithe or an Arcanine. Because I've seen, uh, like, Officer Jenny always having... A, almost always having a Growlithe on her side. So, maybe. Maybe she could have a, a Growlithe. If we could, based on our personality alone, maybe Gardevoir, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm just uh, throwing things out the window right now. Uh, Hina? Hina would definitely need a water type on her team. A fast water type, like, um... Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm, I'm thinking about Hina. She would definitely have a water type. Maybe Primarina? No, Primarina is actually more of a singer than a swimmer. It has to be a Pokemon that, move, that swims fast, and I know Hina would swim really fast. So, it could be Greninja, could be Floatzel. Floatzel could be one. It's using Swift, but Doubly isn't affected because it's a normal, it's a ghost type. Which is good. Good use of Brink and Swipe to lower its attack, but I think we got this. Yeah, I think Max Airstream will deal it, will finish it off. Oh my god! That's a big amount of damage! I think Sakura would I think Sakura would have a, a Machamp for sure. Being the ultimate martial artist, and and would how big she be, or maybe not, or maybe not a champ. Maybe, I mean, being the ultimate martial artist, she could have Lucario. No, I think Lucario would be Tenko because she's the Aikido master. As much as I hate Kokichi, I think Kokichi would definitely have a Sableye, or. Sableye or a Bayonet. One of those two. Okay, so time for the shiny check. No. 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 But let me make sure, because we can never know if any of these is a shiny. No, it's not. Okay, so number 18 was not a good move, but let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes on the next time. What the heck is... Who's hammering? Alright, so let's go to the next one. Apparently my neighbors are hammering upstairs. Mikan. Well, Mikan is the ultimate nurse. So, if I would be sure what Pokemon would she have... It could be a Chansey, an Audino... Maybe Audino? Or maybe an Ndidi. No, Ndidi would be... No, no, no. Ndidi would be Kirumi, because she's the ultimate maid, and Ndidi reminds me of a... The female Ndidi it reminds me of a maid, and the male Ndidi reminds me of a butler. So I think Ndidi would be Kirumi. As for Mikan, I think... I think she could be like Nurse Joy, so maybe a Chansey or an Audino. Uh, let's see. Get back to the first game. What would who would what kind of Pokemon would Byakuya would have? That's what I'm curious. What who would Byakuya have? The ultimate effluent progeny. Uh, let's see. Um, it has to be like a serious Pokemon. Like, no, I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm trying not to think of Mew, uh, legendary Pokemon like Mewtwo. So, let's see. Maybe someone's ser a Pokemon that looks pretty serious. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Just, I'm picturing Byakuya in my head. What kind of Pokemon would he have? Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Can we have a full room? Oh man, I'm drawing a blank. I can't, I can't even picture what kind of Pokemon would he, he have. Not a good start, but I think I'll take the Miltank. 
Anotan would be a good option, but who knows? Oh, definitely take the Pelipper. Someone do take the Pelipper. We're up against the Feromosa. We need the, the Pelipper. There we go. Someone was smart. Okay, so we have a Water Poison. Electric... There's a Flying Top on the other side. Yeah, let me just analyze this perfectly. Poison type would be ineffective to most of Pheromus's attacks. So I think we should go for the, the poison type. So it's a dragon type there. Okay, I'm glad that everyone agrees with the poison type. Let's do this. I still can't think of what Pokemon could he, could uh, Byakuya have. That's it. Kind of is messing me with my head. All right. Oh, Toko. Who would Toko have? Anyone in chat? Who would? What kind of Pokemon would Toko have? The outfit, the ultimate writing prodigy and the. Uh, or, or, or if not, or if not, uh, Toko, mid, then, um, ah, what's her name? Uh, Ge Genocide Jack. Maybe Genocide Jack could have a Bisharp or something. Tech is ready to kick butt. Though I'm pretty sure that some gen that some who play Gen 2 are getting nightmares from Whit from Whit from the Whitley uh, gym. Believe me, I heard those a lot, but to be honest, I hardly had any trouble with with uh Whitley in Whitley in the Whitley no, not not Whitley, uh Whitney in the in Gen 2. Maybe it's because I focus so much on leveling up my Pokemon, or I love to catch Pokemon so much, that I didn't have too much trouble dealing with Miltank's uh, rollout. Wow, I just got poisoned? Are you serious? Genesis Jack might have Excadrill. Could be, could be. Okay, I need to know this. What kind of Pokemon would Gun Gundam Tanaka have? Yes, what kind of Pokemon would Gundam Tanaka have? I like to know. I like to know what kind of Pokemon would he have. It could be Morpeko. Could be. Though, though I don't know. I mean, Morpeko is a dark type, electric dark type. Oh man, <laughs> it would have to be like something like a ham, like a hamster, and I think Morpeko could be considered one of his Pokemon. That would be an interesting idea. Okay, I think I might take our boater, but let's see if anybody else wants it, just to be safe. Let's see, is anybody going to take my Garboder? Apparently Magneton wants to take it. Okay, I'm going to take the risk and let him take it. Because I don't think Magneton will be a good um, teammate for this. Definitely for the Flying type. Go for the Flying type. So people can actually know where I'm going with this. There we go. Is that a Mantine? Mantine is a water flying type, so yes, it is. That's a good that's a good option. Uh Gundam tonight. I think Gundam would take more Peko. That I think he would definitely have it. But let's focus on one one game at a time instead of mixing out a book completely, otherwise we get lost in this. So we mentioned Makoto, Kyoko, and Hina, as well as Sakura. Still don't know what Pokemon would with um Byakuya have. That's that's the one thing that's blowing my mind. Ok, 
Okay, I think I gotta start with Thunder Wave to try to paralyze it. There we go. That's a good start. This beam doesn't do much, but at least it cancels out the... Oh, we're gonna take our time uh, d dealing with the man time, aren't we? At least I paralyzed it. It's using Water Pulse on me. Wow, poisoned and confused. How lucky... What luck did... What luck? I'm in deep trouble at this rate. I could use Milk Drink to heal, but I think I'm going to do it play rough. Because I'm not sure if it's going to take me down. Plus the Cryonagonal is going to love... Oh, I think I, I think I understand what he's trying to do. I think. I just don't know yet. Just one way to find out. I still don't know what Byakuya would have, so let's skip that for now. Why are you using White Guard? It doesn't have a an, a an AoE attack. Yeah, I knew he was going for herbal growth. Wow, it did like nothing? It might be able to help me heal, but it's not gonna do much. Come on, Mel Tank, don't 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 hit yourself. No! Oh boy, Mantine is gonna t take a while to take down, that's for sure. I'm in deep trouble at this rate. I hope I can do better than this. Whoa, I hope that... Does that disable my... Does that disable my poison? I don't know if that disables my poison though. This is snap snapped out of the confusion, but oh my god, this is gonna take a while. Um, why are you you no? What are you thinking? Why are you using a water attack on? Uh we are so in trouble. We are definitely not. We, we we are definitely gonna have so much struggle with this. Use dual wing beat. That's basically the only thing you can do right right now. Why are you wasting white guard? White guard doesn't do much. No, it, it doesn't have a. No, don't miss. Ah. Oh! We are gonna. Oh my god, we are. This is gonna take forever at this rate. Finally, a, de a, a decent hit. And I'm gone. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. It's like, it's, like, it's like, there's so many possible Pokemon, it's hard to choose one for a specific character. All I can do is cheer on for now. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yakuya, Yakuya. Uh, let's get Yakuya for now. Hifu, no, not Hifumi. I was think. uh, what was his name? Uh, Hero. Hero? Oh, he's frozen! That's awesome! Uh, what, what, what was the guy, what was the fortune teller guy's name? I forgot. Hey Chad, what, remind me who, what's the name of the fortune teller from, from the first game? It's Yasuhiro, yeah, Hero, Yasuhiro. Thank you. Um, uh, oh, what, I think he, he would have, um, Yasuhiro, what, 
I think you would have a, a psychic Pokemon that... Maybe Kadabra, maybe, because... Maybe Kadabra for him. Let's see, who else? Uh, let's see. Yasuhiro Hagakure. Oh, we're doing a decent amount of damage. There we go! Took a while! I'm definitely taking the man time. Please, no one take it but me. Okay, so there's Hifumi, the ultimate fanfic writer, and I think... I think Smeargle. No, no, the writer. Fanfic writer, I don't think Smeargle does for him. He's into 2D a lot, so... Ooh, doo -doo -doo. Who, who could Hifumi have? He's big, he's fat. He likes reading fan. He likes reading, uh, make writing fanfics. Please let me take the man time, so I can have most of its moves. Okay, I'm glad someone agrees with me. Oh yeah, definitely slow fucking slow bro. <laughs> okay, so we have two water types. I think we're going for the dragon type, rock type. No. Oh right, I forgot. I, I forgot that it has a flying type move. That's right. All right. Next week. Okay, here's something that I didn't that I just noticed. That guy looks like Do the 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 trainer over there that with the pelper looks like Dante. Don't you think? I mean, he's dressed like Dante, at least. Anyway, uh, Celeste. Oh, Celeste would definitely have, like, like Gothitelle for some reason. Okay, I think I am going to use Water Pulse for now. Good use on the Reflect. Protect us from most of his physical attacks. Okay. Nice use of Weather Ball. Belch? That was weird. <laughs> I think Celeste would definitely have Gothitel. Because of the way she's dressed, it's obvious. Uh, Chihiro, Chihiro. Chihiro is a programmer. I don't know why, but I think Chihiro would have Curlia on his side. That's just my assumption. I think Chihiro would definitely have Curlia. Wow, that's big damage right there. Nice one. I almost forgot it had overgrowth. Alright, let's see if we can deal some more damage. Before it attacks us. Ah, almost there! Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good so far. It's increasing its speed, but not for long. Is there a move here that could be faster? I'll just use Air Slash. Alright. Uh, Chihiro? What? Chihiro, I, think, I feel like he could have Curlia. Mondo Wada. Who would Mondo have? I know there are like radical Pokemon so many. Oh, Mondo Wada would definitely have. Um... Ah, what's. Scra There's Scraggy. What would say it's evolution? Scrafty? I think it's Scrafty. Uh, let's see, I'm going to also catch it in a heal ball because I think, I, I, if I recall, Shiny Wishcast is pink. Ooh, dusty around here. 
Okay. Uh, no, I'm not gonna take Wish Cash. I'm gonna let Cryov and I'll take it. Okay, we have a solid team against Wish Cash, uh, against uh, Feromosa. I think we'll do this no problem. Uh, what was I gonna check? Alright, here we go. Taka ha Taka Kyotaka Someone like Kyotaka would definitely need a Pokemon that's very loud. Maybe loud red. <laughs> wow, we just started and already we poisoned it. Oh we 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 got this. We totally got this. Why Weather Ball? You could have just finished it with a wi with a flying type move. We could have just finished it right there with a flying type move. There's no there's no point in, in Dynamaxing here, so I'm just gonna finish it off with Air Slash. Or Quick Attack. That also works. <laughs> very good, very good option. Very good option to finish it off. Okay, so we said Taka. Are we missing someone from the first game? Let's see... I, s I think I mentioned everyone... Oh, we, we didn't mention uh, Sayaka and Leon. That's, uh, that's right. I think Sayaka would go for Jigglypuff or Wigglytuff. Because she's the ultimate pop sensation. As for Leon... Let's see, he's the ultimate baseball star. Maybe Galarian Farfetch'd? <laughs> no, not, not, definitely not this one. Not that one. I know there was like Pokemon in the enemy that played baseball? I don't recall. Alright, let's see, here we, here we go. No. 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 No shiny. Still no shiny. That was number 18. Now we're going for number 20. All right, no rush. We can we can keep trying. Uh, Leon, Leon will definitely have something like um, maybe a Blaziken. I don't know. Okay, second game, Hajime. Who would Hajime have? Uh, let's see. Hachime would definitely have someone like... Hmm... I think Hachime had what was like most, mostly serious, the most normal out of them all. He became the ultimate hope. So maybe. He was also like experimented on. Could be Mewtwo, but I'm not sh I don't want to go there yet. Okay, so we have two dark types and electric type. Dear boy, this is not a good start. Not a good start at all. I think I'm gonna take Magneton for now. This is not a good start to this to this one, so let's hope that we get better in the future. All right, let's see the path towards Feromosa. Electric fire, normal fairy. I seem like coming too fast. Okay, so let's see. We have a fire type. There's a normal and fairy type on the other side. Fairy type is usually effective. 
I think we're definitely going this way. Because Combuskin is a fire type, and fire type is very effective against Feramosa. Just imagine Mew with Mew for some reason. <laughs> I, I don't want to picture Mew having Mew. She would definitely use a steel type or something. Alright. But, uh, Hajime? I think Hajime. Hajime, Hajime. Let's bring a special attack. Maybe rise. I think I gotta go with Electro Ball for now. Wow, Triple XL actually missed. But why are you using a, a an electric, a, a, an ice type move against Combuskin? That hammer arm did a lot of damage. Ugh, let's see. Hajime could have. Could have, could have. Let's see, wasn't there like another Pokemon that was experimented uh, or cloned or something? I don't think we need to Dynamax here. I think we got this. Uh, let's see, let's see. I mean, I can only picture Mewtwo because because of the same reasons. But uh, so I'll just go with that. Chiaki, Chiaki being the ultimate gamer. Who would Chiaki, the ultimate gamer, have as a partner? I mean, she's the one who made Monami or teamed up with Monami. So maybe like a rabbit-like. Could be Porygon. Could be. Oh, oh, Chiaki. Oh, Chihiro would definitely have. Also, would also have po Porygon. I just remembered. Um, Premier balling it. I mean, I already have shiny Torchic, so I don't have to worry about uh, getting another shiny. I just need to evolve it. And that's all. Unless for some reason I get the shiny Combuskin. Oh. My headphones got off. Hey. Okay, I think it's okay. Okay, so is anybody gonna take the Combuskin? Okay, Semper is not taking it. Quencher is gonna take it, so I'm gonna let him take it. Is the Pangoro guy still awake? Okay, there it is. Uh, she. Chiaki could definitely have like a rabbit character, so maybe Baneri? Either Baneri, Score Bunny. Maybe one of. Could also be Borygon because she plays video games. Uh, let's see. Ibuki Miyota. Let's see. Ibuki Miyota, the ultimate musician. I mean, she's she's uh, she play she's a basically a rock star. So maybe uh, let's see. Oh, definitely explode. She's definitely loud. Is Bengoro gonna take a Pokemon or is he? Def, you're right. Explode is definitely the perfect Pokemon for her. Whoa, apparently is, is the other is the guy with the Pangoro AFK for some reason? Okay, so we mentioned Ibuki. What about he Hiyoko? Yes, the the bratty Hiyoko. I, who would she have? Huh, let's see. Hiyoko is the ultimate traditional dancer. So maybe already Koryo. Could be. Either her or maybe. Like I'm, I'm throwing like ideas out the window. Let's see. 
Maybe maybe one of the Oricorios, because they're also dancers. Or maybe no no, Velossum, Velossum. I just remembered Velossum. I mean she is a traditional dancer, Velossum are dancers. That's the only thing I can assume. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Terra Terra is def is a is the ultimate cook. So maybe Terra Terra could have Oh, I almost forgot about the disguise. <laughs> Let's see, Terry. I know there's a Pokemon that cooks. Ah, but who was it? Ah, I can't remember off the hook. Ah, I know the Pokemon's the cook, but I don't. I just don't remember at the moment. But it, but it's a Pokemon that knows how to cook. I I know there's one. Or maybe I'm wrong, but it's definitely one a Pokemon that knows they're... Oh no, it's using Curse. That's not good. We need to take it down very quickly. Before Combust can do... It takes more damage. There we go. Very good. We got the Mimikyu. I'm also gonna Lux Bullet because I like B I do also like Mimikyu. Ah, who would Terra Terra have? I, I know there's a Pokemon that knows how to cook, but I just don't remember at the moment. Anyway, um Oh the ult the ultimate imposter definitely ditto. The ultimate imposter would definitely have ditto. I say ultimate imposter because he's also Byaki in the fruit in the second game, so there's that. Please, allow me to take the Mimikyu. Stupid headphones. Ah. So I'm just taking their sweet time in catching it. I'm taking the Mimikyu if no one if no one minds. Stupid. What's wrong with my headphones today? Uh, let's see. Um, okay, so I think we should go for the ghost type because I think we had we'd have an advantage with this one. No, we're going for we're going for that one. Okay. Okay, so what do I have? Muscle Dance, Life Orb, Citrus Berry, Leftovers. I think I'm going with Life Orb. Ah, I know there what I know there was like one. Yeah, the ultimate ambassador is definitely Ditto. Stupid headphones. my headphones now. Uh, sorry, um... Let's see, who am I missing? Ultimate Imposter, um... The Ultimate Photographer. Could be smear gold, but I'm not. But I mean, there is no ultimate painter, so I think smear gold could be a, an option. Why are you Dynamaxing, uh... Something's wrong with my e headphones, what the hell? Okay. They're good for now. The Ultimate Swordswoman. Maybe, but... Maybe, okay, maybe she could have, uh... 
Maybe she could have uh, by sharp. Oh, I should have considered that. Oh yeah, you're right. Angie would definitely get Smeargle. That's for that's for sure. She's the ultimate artist. Now it's just remembering. Maybe. Maybe um. Maybe Pekka would have um. Maybe Pekko should be the one to take uh, by Sharp because I just remembered another p Pokemon that would good agree with, with Toko. With Toko's AKA Genocide Jack. Scizor. She would definitely have Scizor. Hence the the pun of, uh, on it, on its name. But yeah, I think Scizor would be better for. Um. For Genocide Jack. Anyway. The ultimate Yakuza. Um, Fuyuhiko. Who could he have? Using Sucker Punch to try to get out of it, but it's not gonna work. Uh, who would Fugiyuhiko have? Like, I'm trying to think of uh, a possible Pokémon for Fuyuhiko, but I just don't remember at the moment. Fuyuhiko, Fuyuhiko. Maybe Persian. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna keep Mimikyu. Let's see if Pengara will also take, actually take the Maractus. Or we just go without it. We go without it. Alright, full. Team's still okay. We're about to face Faramosa. I think we got this in the bag. Oh yeah, um, ah, what's his name? Nekomaru? Neko and Nekomaru would definitely have Machamp, for sure. Maybe they'll ice this what? Where is his attack stat? I think I'm gonna do this move first, just to lower its attack stat. Here we go. Maybe that lies. It's a Lord's attack. Better safe than sorry. She always starts with Swift. Neko I said Nakamaru would be. Uh, I already said Mikan. Oh, Sonia! I forgot Sonia. Oh, Sonia would definitely have, um... Ah, uh, what's her name? Gardevoir. Sonia c could have Gardevoir. She's a princess. And then we have, uh, what's this? And then we have Kazuichi Soda. Oh, right! Yeah, I forgot about Mukuro and Junko. Mukuri Kusaka Kusaba is the ultimate soldier. Hmm. What do you think, Chad? What do you what do you think Mukuro would have? Who do you think Mukuro would have? I'm gonna I'm gonna also use curse. Stop, full team. There's no worry. Let's 
see. Okay, Beast Boost is in effect, and its attack rolls back up. There we go. Sure, I sacrifice a bit of my HP for that, but at least she'll also lower health just in case. There we go. I guess it was kind of pointless, but still. It was just a... Just in case. As for Junko, she would definitely use a, a very... Okay, this might sound weird, but maybe beware for Junko. Because Beware is kind of intimidating, despite its cu cute and cuddly appearance. So I could picture her having a Beware. As for Mukuro, it's still out there. I just not, I'm just not sure what kind of Pokemon she would have. Maybe an Alola Marowak. Okay, shiny check time. Let's see. No. 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 Let me take a look at Maractus. Okay, I was just making sure. Alright. Not in this one either. Let's move on to the next. But first, anything you can tell us? Tapu Fini. But I'm not going for that until at least I get a shiny Faramosa. Alright. In the meantime, I am going to um, also check on my Discord from here. Real fast. While I wait for the team. Anyway, um, let's see. I have Ferramosa. You want in. All right, let's see what we have. Hmm, I think out of all three, I'm going to take Palisand. Immune and Serena. All right. Let's see any flying types. There's a flying type right there. You're definitely going after that one. So we're going for grass first. Uh, let's see, any other Pokémon that could be perfect would be... Wait, why?! Why the Water-type?! There's a Flying-type on the other side! Oh my god, what were they t what, what were they thinking?! They should have gone up into the other path for the, for the Flying-type! Well, this is going to be a hectic start. I think I'm going to D-Max here. I think we could have done much better if we had, if, if we had gotten that um, Talent Flame. But whatever, it's too late now. Okay, we have to throw chop. Let's start. We move on the trap kick. 
never thought I'd see one with Poison Jab. Alright, oh, uh, I was mentioning the other characters in their Pokemon. So I said Nekomaru. I think I pretty much mentioned it. Oh, Nagito! I almost forgot about Nagito! Ooh, Nagito is tricky. Chad, what do you think? Who do you think Nagito would go with? I mean, he's pretty scary. He's the ultimate lucky student. Hmm. Who would Nagito have? That is a very interesting question. There's a lot of things I could be thinking about with Nagito, and I'd have, and one of them is what kind of Pokemon would he have? Let's see, Nagito could have, should have, could have, should have. Oh, may, maybe another possible Pokemon for Nekomaru would, be def would definitely be Incineroar. So between Machamp and Incineroar, that, I think those would be good Pokemon against uh, for Nekomaru. Oh, Sig oh, I didn't notice Sigilyph was there. Yeah, Sigilyph is another good Pokemon against uh, Feromosa. Because Sigilyph is also is Psychic and Flying type. So, uh, so I apologize for not seeing, but they made but uh, in the end they do they did make a good move. Let's see. SDC weakness policy. Let's focus sash. Or white herb. These are not good items. So I'll take the focus sash for now. What the hell? Did I get it? I don't know if I got it. I found mosquitoes were gone. It's the middle of winter. Can't be here that early. Ah, who, who could Nagito have? That's that's definitely the million dollar million dollar question. Okay, so I'm going with Shadow Ball here. Oh jeez, that air slash was powerful. It's a good thing I had a citrus berry. Is Izuru Kamakura? I don't know about Izuru though. But I'm, I'm talking about Nagito. I'm talking about a possible Pokemon for Nagito. That's what I'm trying to think. But unfortunately, I can't think of one yet. Yet. Better keep my eyes peeled because there's a mosquito around here, and I don't want it to take. I don't want it to bite me. Mosquitoes, mosquitoes are so annoying. Guards let down. Okay, so who would Kaede have? Kaede. Kaede enjoys music. She loves the piano. Save the acrobatics for. Save the acrobatics for. for. for Amosa. I thought I felt it there. Sorry. I'm thinking Meloetta for for Kaede. 
I don't know why I'm using a netball on this one. Because <laughs> that, that was weird. Okay. The Kaede with the uh, Kaede would have a Meloetta. Shuichi, Sh Shuichi would be um. <laughs> I want to say Pikachu because the tech of Pikachu, but no, I really don't want to think that. Okay, I'll let Sigilyph take the. Wait. Oh man, I just realized why. Why didn't I take it? I should have taken it. Okay, there's there's poison type. There's grass type. I can't tell what the poison one looks like. But I'm going for poison. We're not we're definitely not taking the ice type for sure. There we go. Because poison type at least can take the can tank the pheromosis bug and um bug and fighting type moves. But I think Shuichi would take a Gallade. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, oh, I s Oh. Now thanks to Sigilyph. I know the perfect... I think Sigilyph is the perfect Pokemon for... For Kyo. Being the ultimate anthropologist. What is Shore up to? It restores more HP in a Sandstorm. Okay. I think I'm going with Scorching Sands for now, trying to get it to, to burn. Uh, I said Ko I think I already said Kokichi. Kokichi would definitely have a Sableye. Um... Let's see, Himiko? Himiko is into magic, so maybe a Fairy type. I think a fairy type would be perfect for for Himiko. I just don't know which one yet. Maybe a Rimbomb B or something along those lines. Let's see if I burned it. No, not yet. Okay, we said Himiko Tsumugi. Tsumugi is, uh, Tsumugi is pretty plain. She's the ultimate cosplayer, so maybe Ditto, but I'm not sure. Wait, was there like a Pokemon that you could customize its look? Was it a Furfru? I think it was a Furfru. Alright, got Ivysaur. Nest balling it. Here we go. <sighs> All right. Okay, so who's taken the Ivysaur? I think Mateo should take it. There we go. All right, full team, fully healed. We're ready for anything. This is gonna be another quick, quick one. There she is. Now let's see. We also mentioned uh, Kyo. Gota would definitely have a, any kind of bug type he would have. If is there like a favorite he has? I don't I don't remember if he has a favorite. I don't recall if he has a favorite though. But he would definitely pick any any kind of bug type he could think we could think of. Let's see who else we have. 
Kaede Shuchi Rantaro? Rantaro's still a mystery, so I wasn't I'm not sure what kind of Pokemon would Rantaro have. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Then there's uh, Ryoma, the ultimate tennis pro. Ryoma's a mystery, so maybe someone small and quick. Wait, did it attack twice? Alright, because it got desperate. Boom! There it goes. Let's see. Luxury ball, right there. And like I said, Kirumi would definitely have a either an either in Didis. As for Ryoma, the ultimate tennis pro, he would definitely be a quick guy. So maybe someone small and someone fast. Let's see. I went. Maybe a Rotom. I don't know. Okay, let's see. Shiny check. Oh! Oh! Shiny Ivysaur! Who would have thought? Guys, we have a shiny! It's not the one we want, but there it is! Shiny Ivysaur! Let, oh, hold on, hold on. We need to see if Pheromos is a shiny. No, it's not, but we have a shiny, guys! Shiny... Shiny Ivysaur! It's not our target, but we have a shiny Ivysaur. And it has the hidden ability. This is amazing. Okay, it's not our target, but at least it's at least it's a shiny. We got a shiny, people. It's not it's not it's not the one we want, but at least we got one. Uh, I'm not gonna give it a nickname yet, yet, but we have a shiny. Let's get let's take a let's take a good look at it. Yes, we do want to keep the record because I want it. Okay, let's take a look at Shiny Ivysaur. He has pretty good stats. The nature is balanced. And it's... Yeah, it's a, shi it's a shiny golden flower. There it is. <laughs> Who knew? I mean, I already had a shiny Venusaur somewhere here. But he's definitely going into the shiny box. There we go. Like, I already have a shiny Bulbasaur right there. Do I don't remember if I had a Venusaur though. Yeah, there it is. This is this is this one's ready to trade. So I have the full full evolution line as a shiny. That's amazing. Very good. I should always remember to turn on the cooler of my of my computer before I start streaming. And anything, we're good now. So so yeah, we got we. We got ourselves a shiny uh, Ivysaur, so that's at least one good thing. I hope anybody, I hope people, I hope you guys clip that because I want, I want to see that cl being clipped. Uh, I think I'm going with Orbeetle for now. Okay, Max hasn't picked a Pokemon yet. And it picked Trevenant. Alright. Good to know that we're back now. That was that was very scary, but I'm glad we're back. Let's keep going, and hopefully our luck will continue on. Okay, so we have a ground type and then a steel type. On the other side, we have an electric type and a poison type. And then... Hmm... This takes a lot of thinking. But I think we should go for... This one. Nope. They're picking... They decided on Rhydon. That's alright. But that was very scary. I, I, f I thought I was gonna lose everything. But, I, but I'm glad that it got back to the here. Alright, let's 
do this. I'm gonna struggle with this, let's just right to this we hit. Alright, I'm gonna start with this one. Alright, let's do this. Anyway, uh, what were we, this? we were talking about possible uh, Pokemon for Danganronpa characters. Where were we at last time? Because I forgot. Why max airstream though? Is it to make us faster? Probably that. Enduring punch, very good. I think I already mentioned most of the characters. I oh right, we didn't mention one for Maki. Hmm, who would Maki have as a as a Pokemon? Being the ultimate assassin and, and all. Run after you, just uh, make a move first. Boom. There we go. Not very effective, aren't... isn't it? <laughs> For Maki, who would Maki have as a Pokémon? That's what I want to know. Let's see... Ultimate Assassin... Let's see, she's the Ultimate Assassin. So a, a Pokémon like her, for her would definitely be someone quick, silent, and fast. Just need to consider which one could it be. <coughs> Alright. Oh, this Rylan's persistent. Oh, that ain't good. That is not good. Not good at all. Being a, well with a rock and flying type. Yep. Or Scyther. Need to take it down quick. Wow, just one point. That's, that's not good. Okay, so Maki, Maki, Maki. I think Maki would definitely have a dark type like... Could be Houndoom, but I don't think Houndoom is good for assassination. Could be Marsh... no, not Marshadow. Definitely not Marshadow. It could be Lycanroc. Night form. Dusk form. Not night form, yes. Could be one of those. Oh, Rockruff would be another po good Pokemon for Makoto. That, that's another po good Pokemon. Oh, we haven't mentioned a Pokemon for Kazuichi. I think Kazuichi would have a Clank Clang. That's what I'm assuming. Oh, I'm mad. I might as well take a look at uh, A Drive's Twitch because I know A Drive is going to do the surprise like Saturday today. Uh, no, I'm not going to take right on, but maybe one of the other two will. No, they will not take it. Very well. Poor Adrif is still still hasn't managed to catch a uh, Solgaleo. Solgaleo. I think. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. 
Maybe Haunter? No. People want to go for Rotom. That's good. That's good. Okay. He's also ho oh he's also hunting for for another Pokemon while he's uh, raiding. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm gonna take the Quick Claw for sure. Cause I I want to make sure to move first sometimes. All right, we're going for Rotom. Fro for Rotom. Rotom. I don't know. People pronounce pronounce Rotom in very different ways. Okay, I think the computer is now okay. That's good. Sorry about the lag, guys. It would be very helpful if you if you all follow me on Twitch as well as uh, the using the donate button to help support my channel. It is it is not a necessity, but I would very appreciate it if you do. Okay, so. Rotom is... I think I'm going with Psychic for now. I just have to be careful with its Ghost-type moves. I do, I do like uh, Malamar's cry there from time to time. Very sinister. It's kind of funny that in the anime they, they, they speak with, in their names, but in the game they have like a very weird cries. Cypher's dying a lot in our raid! What the heck? This is not looking good for us at this rate if, if Cypher keeps dying like this. This ain't looking good for us if, if if everyone keeps dying like this. All right. Get just a horn leech to absorb its da damage. Okay, we just need to make sure to move fast. So Cypher's cheering will help us up. Stronger against special move, that's good. Ooh, it's using nasty plot, but I think it just sealed its deal. We just sealed the deal when it used that. There we go. I'm going to Premier Bullet. What are the things we could talk? What are the things we could talk about? We mentioned the Dago Rumpa characters and their and their possible Pokemon. I don't remember what what Pokemon what. Is there any character I'm missing that that we want to decide which Pokemon they go with? Oh, Kibo! Oh, Kibo would definitely hit pick a. a any of the steel type Pokemon. But which one, might I wonder? Could be um ah, what's that Pokemon? That artificial Pokemon's name, I forgot. I had like a very weird name, I I don't remember. Magirna! I think Kiba would have Magirna. Oh boy, this is not looking good for us. Definitely the middle one. And we're going after Sharpedo. Why? Because people are want to get the berries. Oh boy. Let's hope we survive at this rate. I can't my headphones. What is wrong with my headphones? Alright, there we go. Mention Kibo, Tsumugi, Mew, 
Oh, there should be some some others. I just don't remember it uh, right off the bat. Well, I didn't have to, right now much sleep today. I'm okay though. Don't worry. Jeez, the weather, the weather hasn't been nice in where I live. It's been nothing but snow, uh, but rain and, and wind. We hardly saw the sun for the last few for the last few weeks. It's hard to see it. It's been nothing but wind and rain every almost every day. Winter sometimes is unforgiving. All right, special attack fell. That's good. Maybe my sniling will do the trick. There we go. That was a sweep. We just sweep the shark away. We just swept the shark away. All right. Doo -doo -doo. I'm also premier balling it, just in case I get a shiny. Alright. Whoa. Something's wrong with my computer now? No? It's good. Okay, it's good. Just making sure. Sure, Peter's no good against um, Feramosa, so I wouldn't suggest taking it. Good. We're gonna get the berries, no one died in that path. Hopefully we'll be, we'll be lucky now. Alright, let's do this. Number 22. Let's see if Ivysaur brought us the shiny luck back. Alright, here we here we go. I could ah uh, no, I can't Dynamax yet. The only one who could Dynamax is Cypher, and I think it's a good one because it has a an uh a flying type move. <sighs> Here we go. It always starts with Swift. Why, why is it always obsessed with always starting with Swift? Whoa, hello! Cypher just took it out in one shot! One shot! That was the fastest raid I... Feramosa raid I've ever done. One shot! Who would have thought? That was the quickest... That was the quickest Feramosa hunt... Uh, shiny hunt I've ever done. That is amazing. One shot, one hit, and it went down. Okay. All right, what do we have here? Here we go. No, 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 no. And I thought after Ivy Star we'd get lucky in getting Sharon Feramosa, but we, at least we tried. Okay, I'm gonna do one more raid, and and then I'll end the stream. Just one more raid. See if we can actually keep the luck going. Before that, let me see if she has anything interesting, and she does not. All right. We're going after Feramosa. 
One last time. Number 23 to end it. Let's see. Let me check my, my stream really quickly to see if nothing bad happens. Okay, we have Tim. Okay, I think the stream is going okay. It's good to know. Alright, we have Logan. Oh, Logan again. I've been seeing Logan again a, a, a lot in my today on my stream. Oh, right. I, I, I forgot that I have to do this. Alright, so what do we have? We have Mimikyu, Torkoal, and Roselia. And I think I'm going with Mimikyu for now. Torkoal's also a good one. Roselia's part poison, so she could tank some of the fighting type moves. And between all three, maybe Whalemore. But they decided to go with Machoke. Alright. Very well, alright. You can take Machoke. Okay, so what do we have? Oh, there's a ghost. There's a ghost fire type that's Marowak. And then after that, there's a fairy type. And right after, I don't see any flying types. So yeah, let's go with let's go with Marowak. I remember getting shiny a little Marowak here. It was amazing. I loved it. Let's hope Ivysaur actually. I just. I still think Ivysaur is giving us the luck, so let's hope we, it, it also brings it back. Alright, let's do this. Okay, I am going to use Shadow Claw, and I think I'm gonna Dynamax for this one. Since it's also part Ghost type, it should be effective. I'll see if I can edit the. Let's see if that before. I'm gonna see myself that when I post uh, this stream on YouTube to cut off the lag to cut off the lag that caused so much trouble in my stream, so you guys could see it without having to suffer any lags. Go for use of extra sensory. Nice. Very good. Very good moves. White Burning Jealousy. It's a fire type. Miraculous Will of Wisp, but it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. It did not work. <laughs> Reminds me of uh, Helsing Abridged. And down it goes. All right. Trying to catch it. Can you guys believe this? Adra. Okay, so there's a youth. There's a Pokemon tuber named uh, A Drive. He's one of the. F He's one of the uh, first YouTubers that I've seen playing Pokemon and Shiny Hunting. He's amazing, he's a good content creator, do check out his channel, it's very cool. Uh, and he's been hunting for Solgaleo for... Get, get this, it's been 528 raids and he ha and he never got Solga Solgaleo. That's kind of unlucky, if you, know what, if you guys know what I mean. Let's hope, I, let's hope he gets it soon. His last Shiny in this hunt was a Pelipper. So I really hope for, for him that he gets the shiny Solgaleo soon. 
He's actually streaming right now. I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually going to participate in his um, Surprise Egg Saturday later tonight. So I'm going to end the stream a bit early. Well, not a bit early, but basically after. I'm going to finish the stream after this raid, and then I'll join him. Well, apparently someone left. And it's replaced by Peonia. And she's the one taking the Marowak, so I hope she doesn't take any other Pokemon else. Does someone do take the Clef Key though? Because Fairy types are going to be very effective against uh, Feromosa. Oh, he still didn't get the the Sugaleo. That's very unlucky. I think I could use Curse, but I don't want to take advantage of that yet. I don't want to sacrifice my health yet. And Baby Doll Eyes won't be that effective anyways because Baby Doll Eyes is actually a. Um, It's a move that lowers a Pokemon's attack power, and Klefki is more of a special attacker. I'm not a com I, sincerely, I'm not a competitive Pokemon player. I just play it for fun and for shiny hunting. <laughs> so I'm not the kind of guy who would go around online and, and just to get up with so many pro professional players. Increasing its defense not good, so I hope the special defense, the special attacks, work best. Ooh, not, nice use of will o -Wisp. Very good. Maybe Max Flare will do the trick. Not quite. But almost. Ah, feels good to stretch. Alright. It's gonna use it's gonna use flash cannon, but not very effective against uh Torkoal. Ooh, good use of weather ball. Very good. There we go. We absolutely cannot let Marowak take the Klefki. I don't remember what Shenny Klefki looks like, so I'm gonna catch it in premiere. All right. One down, two to go. No, actually two down and two to go. Okay, so who's going to take the cleft key? No one's going to take it? Let's see. Ask Crafty Shield, Play Rough, and Light Screen. Which both are actually... Good moves. I think I'm gonna take it. Good. I didn't want to, to take to have the MCP take the Marowak, uh, take the Marowak away. Ooh, between these two. Ooh, this is a toughie. I definitely don't want to go after the Steel types. I I think it's better to go no and there go after the Steel type, of course. Then again we have then again we have a Torkoal so. I just hope that the NPC, the NPC doesn't take the, the magma time. All right, Roselia better start using the Roselia, Roselia better start using the weather ball because weather ball is effective. And I don't have any good moves, but I can use light screen just in case. Protect us from his special attacks. Nice one. I knew it's gonna go for Weather Ball. Yep, it's a good thing I used Light Screen. I did quite a lot though, but still. At least I managed to protect myself. I see. Uh, among other YouTubers, the one I see the most is A Drive, but I know also know of, of Patters and Game Boy Luke. And some of the YouTubers I know that I, I know also do Pokemon streams, so there you have it. In fact, Quarter Guy tried to high shiny hunt once, but I don't think he ever managed to get the Pokemon he he wanted, was it? Which was a shiny Wooloo. 
And Shiny Wulu is cute, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so, let's see, play rough. Not very effective. Flash Cannon. Okay, so Weather Ball might do the trick, and there you go. Let's hope, let's hope no one takes the Magneton. Or if someone takes it, it could be Roselia. Who knows? We'll see. I do, I do, I, I do have a shiny Magnemite. It's amazing. I love the black magnets. I still have to evolve it into a shiny uh, Magnezone, which is something that I could have done a long time ago. But we'll see. Ooh, these are some cool shirts. I'm not gonna lie. All right, so is no one gonna take it? Is Logan gonna take it? I don't think he's gonna take it. Oh no no no! Do not let Pony up! No, we needed that. We needed that magnet. That Marowak. Oh, I, I knew I knew that the NPC would t would would have would jump onto the Magneton. Like I had a sinking feeling it, it, it was gonna take it. I didn't want it to take it, but it, I had a sinking feeling that it would. Well, whatever. Too late now. Let's just finish it. What does Crafty Shield do? Oh. But I'm not going for that, I'm going for Play Rough. I don't think we need to Dynamax again in this one. Ooh, that high jump kick almost took her down. Yeah, we got this. We got this. Why are you using Light Screen? It doesn't have any special moves except for Bug Buzz. Either way, we still sweeped it. Not as much as the Scyther back then, but at least we got it. Alright. Let's see if this is the one. I don't have to worry about escaping, because I remember back then when, when the Dynamax things happened, it, the, the fact that the Pokemon escaped right, at, right in front of your eyes is a pain. Especially if it's Shiny uh, Gigantamax Pokemon. Alright, what do we have? Uh, I don't think this is Shiny, so no. 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 Let me take, take a, another look. No, that's not Shiny, and I would know. Okay. We didn't get anything good. But at least we got... But at least we didn't come out empty-handed. We have a shiny Ivy Sword from this, so that's good. Okay, let, let's take a look at the shiny Ivy Sword that we got. Oh, where's the shiny Ivy Sword? There it is. In all its glory, at least we didn't come out empty-handed. That's the shiny Ivy Sword. Okay, we didn't get lucky today, but it wasn't all bad, at, all, at least. 